if you've watched my previous vlogs then you'll see that I'm I got ready to go over the wash now on this vlog I'm going over the wash it's gonna be a good vlog I hope you enjoy it it's a great crossing but it's very windy so be mindful of the wind in this and I do apologize when you put your feet up relax enjoy yourselves Rippers. this is the new this is the new flood barrier where it comes up in a and an arc. Look at, look at that engineering, that's stunning. Oh, it's got a ceramic coated piston to stop the uh, stop pitting. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, we're getting wider and wider. Look, like, here we go, Rippers. Here we go. Loving this. All oh, the wind's picking up. No, piss off wind. I was up front, now I'm behind, so... Well, that sounds like I can't avoid going down here. I'm glad, I'm so glad I'm going out with other boats, you know, I'm not on my own. In case the breakdown factor. If you look at the front, just on the right hand side, you can see my GoPro. This is about all I got, really, because the battery ran out. They are completely, utterly useless those things they really are sort of cruising around 2000 rpm all the sea life the smells and it's and it should clean my hull of all the weed the wind's picking up now i can feel the wind coming in it's been an hour now and um Still going out to sea. It's 8.30. The wind is picking up. It's getting a bit fresh. Oh dear. <laughs> it might be a rough crossing, I don't know, but it, the sun's out and it's lovely. The wind's a bit nippy. to the entrance now of the uh, of the wash there's no uh, there's no backing out of this journey because you're going with the tire once you start you can't say oh, no I like it now can I turn around you can't turn around you've got to keep going goodbye lamb it's a little bit daunting going out into the sea big expanse of water strange isn't it Loving it, it's beautiful. 
it's just beautiful, you know. So I'm really enjoying it, I'm liking it. weather's pretty good, the sea seems calm so it's not too bad so far, so far. <laughs> it's just getting a little bit choppy now, like getting to real, real waters now. This is a, a view from inside of the boat behind me, Pete sent me this, just to show you how, how, how wavy it is, how high the waves get. And you can't quite see it as I'm filming on, on the back. You can hear the engine note change as, as the back end comes out of the water. And the waves come up to the exhaust as well, you know. So that's, uh, luckily it doesn't go inside. Seats pick it up now. Up uh, sitting on the roof because uh, I kept getting splashed by the seawater, you know, on the back. I'm enjoying it so far, it's great. The water looks nice and clean. somewhere wow some of these waves are getting big now <laughs> come on the beauty sort of, sort of changed a bit now and I, I was curious as to what these narrowboats can take you know sideways coming in come sideways big sideways come in Population on that on that beach. Wow! Try and get a closer look for you. We're going to beach it now. Well, that's be interesting, won't it? Not a normal procedure for, for narrowboats is ramming your boat onto the beach at full whack. So uh, I managed to get a shot from my neighbour Pete as well. He sent me some uh, footage of me uh, landing the boat on the beach. Very, very strange experience. Uh, a bit panicky because you don't know what to expect. Uh, you just, just gun it, go for it, you know. At this point, you're just hoping that you don't hit anything or turn the boat over or hit a rock, you know what I mean? Or anything like that. If all these things going through your mind. You've got this terrible side wind as well that's uh, pushing you over at the same time. Looking back now, in hindsight, I wish I'd have a VHF radio in there because I don't really know what's happening I'm just following the person in front and there's no instructions really I've just got a shot here of the uh, Peter and Helen behind me uh, just showing you what's what's happening they're going to ram that Boat onto the sand. Very strange experience. They are perfect, Lord. A sudden stop. And there you are. Once you beach it, climb to the front, take your rope with you, and uh, take a spike. 
I'll make sure it doesn't drift away because it can drift away really easily. Sun's warm, as you say. Sun's really warm. It's from Canada. Oh, this is lovely and warm. This water. Mm, oh, it's so hot. That water. Wow. There was a seal population here, and I thought to myself, let's try and sneak down and get a shot of those seals if I can. Seals are so shy, as soon as they see you, they're, they're off lot. Bloody hell, what the hell's that? Three killer whales have landed. Now some bipedal soft jelly thing is walking on the beach. Let's get off. If you get so close, look, it's, they're not happy, it's very shy. So uh, this is about as close as you can get, really, before they all run off or wobble off or roll off or jelly off, whatever they're doing, you know. A nice shot there of all the boats together, but the, the side waves um, push the boats to one side lot. All the movement as the tide starts to come in, your boats start to drift further and further around. Uh, so I started mine up and tried to straighten it up, but I was way premature. It's got another hour to My go, yeah. What am I gonna do with that? Up there somehow. Waiting there now. Nothing's happening. I decided to stop worrying. Waiting in the waves. Uh, just go inside and relax for five minutes because it's. Grounded. You know, it's, I was getting quite anxious for the boats drifting around. I thought I'd get stuck on the sand. Thought the engine wouldn't, the propeller wouldn't go in the sand. You know, any, it's all these things you think about. So just lie down and relax, well. It's amazing, isn't it? It feels like I'm waiting in the middle of, uh, of the sea lot, just waiting here. I think all that land gets covered. It's almost covered now. Look. I don't think it's going. It's going out there somewhere. a bit there because I couldn't I couldn't reverse off it the the tide just taken me into the beach again so I couldn't turn around I managed to get off eventually and uh, I thought I'd tread deep water instead it's gone now, look. all that land it's all gone just sort of going with the flow you see I don't know there's no, no instructions I've just uh, just come off the sandbar which is a bit fat getting off there I've got here now so tread water in the deep water you know I don't really know what's going off now I'm just following the boat in front and just hanging around and wait for the tide I think clear from Daryl and now we're all heading back in with the tide now going with the flow so to speak it's funny I keep seeing these heads bobbing up and down the seals keep looking at us all of a sudden the uh, water picked up the wind picked up and now it's a bit rougher going with the tide back in you know see the tide coming in there can't you pretty pretty solid pretty rough as we're moving forward we're also rapidly going to the side with the tide it's really hard to tell because there's no there's no reference we're going in with the tide so that's going to mean uh same as you you're going with the flow so it's about three knots he said so let's see how it goes
heading in now at some a rapid pace to Kings Lynn. Sort of full throttle because we're going against the flow is really strong going in with the tide. So we've got to we've got to steer and fight that, that flow, you know. Pete and Helen behind me, so still there, that's good. Look at the beautiful birds when they fly. Oh, amazing. Sort of gives you an idea of the pace we're moving at. Probably five or six knots, I'd imagine. You can see the tide where it meets the, the river, can't you? Different colours there. I've got to follow that boat to the letter on the river. One boat crashed, he said, it hit a, hit a, hit a bridge and um, bent the hull. Wow, bent the hull. Got these gorgeous little, little birds here, look, see them? Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? It's a little bit calmer now, so we've got over the roughest bit, but there's still hard bit to go he said which is the river negotiating that so a few hours left yet all the uh, fishing boats there all moored up low tide is it low tide well, we're coming in with the tide aren't we it's the tide going up yeah wind's died down now it's not a sort of a breath here out there, aye, like a gale. Beautiful, isn't it? Old ship still loading, look. It's like loads of grain or sand or something.
with you, this is the most dangerous bit. The sea was, you know, pretty rough, but this is the hard bit with the flow. About an hour into the journey now, and we're sort of missing, trying to go around the shallows and weaving left and right. We're getting there. Pretty little scene, isn't it? sun is baking me you know stood there for 10 hours it's bloody starting to burn me real bad even though i've got cream on um i start to feel a bit uh sunstroke type feeling look at that old place look wow this river look how fast it's traveling wow that's unbelievable isn't it crikey look at that it's worse than the ooze the Amazon we're going left we're going right we're sk skipping around shallow bits it's really quick the water this is worse than the bloody sea it's going slow down turn right left quick left right Wow look at the speed it's flowing at what is that? it's a boy dodgy old river this is, it really is. It's a lot worse than the ooze I reckon. It's so shallows can't you? Oh, he's going right, where's he going now look? Okay, now straight over. This river's crazy fast. It's like going down the bloody Amazon, it really is. You have to go flight, you have to go whammo 90 degrees and that way, then that way again. You have to go around at full whack, full pace, you know. Good lads, keeping us safe. Travelling about eight knots, look at that. Crikey, we're flying. I don't know how you navigate this river on your own without a pilot. I suppose it's doable if you can read the water. If you can like the turbulence there, Lord, if you can read that. On the river, you'd be all right. I was talking about that's the one there. What on earth is that? Black, white. It's got a funny cry to it. Don't see many of them. This is going to be interesting. You've got to get into, got to get into a sluice. This the river's traveling about seven knots. This river is. It's unbelievable. Oh my word. Daryl the pilot just stopped and pulled over. He said, go, on, go ahead, Will, go ahead. I thought, what? Go where? What? To do what? He goes, head for the pontoon. You'll be all right. Head for the pontoon. Apparently this uh, sluice getting into here in, uh, in the tide is, it can spin your boat around. It's very difficult. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. I, th I thought I was turning left here, but I'm not. I'm going, heading to Denver Sluice. And uh, I don't know what's happening now, I'm panicking here, so I just gun it. Daryl said here, just aim for the pontoon. So I'm just going down with the flow at the moment, on tick over. He said, aim for the pontoon. He said, you want to tip, you're all right. That's how fast it's going. So I'm on tick over, doing about seven, eight knots here. So just after this pontoon, I aim for the pontoon. Uh, I'm just gun it after this. So I'm just aiming for the corner. Because uh, there's a horrible swirly water around here, so you've just got to give it some stick here. Because of the water rushing in, it causes a lot of uh, slack water and eddies and turmoil. It's a strange section. Wow. This must be it here then. Bloody perfect, Sarkin. Bloody perfect. I'm in the right place.
Hello, mate. That sluice comes down, we're safe. Ooh. Morning, let me. Right, is that done? Oh my god, I'm so knackered. I'm absolutely washed out. This is. Oh, camera work is atrocious. I do apologise. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this area. It is beautiful. among the stars I'm not sure here but I'm gonna we're gonna stay here anyway sod it just stay here right